$300 for a book. Guys, I bought Apple's new book and today I wanted to unbox that for you. And yes, it cost me three bills. That's more than I've ever spent on any book for that matter. $60 I think was the max to get the Steve Jobs autobiography early. But other than that, I don't think I've ever spent this much. And uh, here it is. Ooh. It is so big and so heavy. You guys can get the cheaper $200 variant, but this thing is actually quite special, more than you think. Apple has been developing it for eight years. That's eight years of development for a book. So it's pretty much a 20 year history of every Apple product. And Apple didn't even have everything they needed. They went and bought old Apple products from third parties because they needed them to get high detailed sketches and the images we're gonna see in here. So uh, let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed and see what $300 buys you from Apple in a book. Oh my goodness, this is massive. All right, so we're gonna peel the tab off over here. I haven't even got my new MacBooks yet. The reason I'm waiting so much is because I ordered custom spec, I guess, and it uh, takes a while to get those. Not gonna be easy. Oh, that's too heavy. Seriously, this thing is like 30 or 40 pounds. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, maybe it's like 20, but it feels heavy. Okay, opening this guy up. All right, it's very neat packaging. And by the way, this is called Design by Apple in California. There's a lot of white going on, I know. <sighs> Another box. It's like Russian matrushki. Okay, so you peel these back. This is interesting. It's like a puzzle just to get inside to look at the book. Wow, nice. I like these packaging. It has iPods, AirPods. So I guess this is like a really big tribute to everything Apple has done. Now that I see this book up close, wow. This actually feels like something worth, you know, in the uh, several hundred dollar digits. It's got nice silver pages painted on the edges this is like some sort of a board it's interesting okay you guys ready for a story designed by apple in california dedicated to steve jobs wow i like that a whole page introduction by johnny ives so he actually made a video talking about why this was developed and uh apple's very proud of their designs so i've got an index here basically everything up to the iphone 6 only what this is outdated and it just came out they didn't even do the 6s or the 7 interesting oh wow okay so that is kind of cool very high quality so this guy i remember actually playing on this in third grade man this is this is a trip way back. We would play Nanosaur, the first one, and uh, Oregon Trail. Oh my goodness, man, this is bringing back memories. It's been so long since I've used one of these. This was actually probably the very first Apple product I've ever used in my life as a kid. And I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know the difference between you know Windows and a Mac. It was all just a computer. So, wow, man, the memories. I might buy one of these one day once I have more room for them. So they got some special edition ones in here too. And oh, I, I know about these. I just don't know or have ever owned one. I know some people have actually retrofitted new internals from a newer laptop into one of these. I've never had one of these. Is this like the first iMac? Actually never even seen what that is. Assuming that's the first iMac. No, that's a Cinema HD display. Sorry. I'm an Apple Pro, but not everything apparently. Um, this is technically the first Mac Pro tower ever, and it didn't sell very well because of how little you could customize it. Now Apple's abandoned their new one, sadly, and a mouse, cool, cool. The Power Mac, I believe. This was my first Apple laptop ever. I actually bought one of these on Craigslist. It was a pretty good deal. I got a fully loaded one, high resolution display with a matte option, and uh, they're actually built very, very well. This is what got me into the design of Apple. after. I bought a MacBook Pro, then a MacBook Air. I've never had the first iPod. First iPod I ever had, I actually won it in a drawing uh, with a friend, the iPod Nano second generation. So that was my first Apple product I ever owned, technically, this guy. This is actually kind of cool. I mean, for anyone that's fascinated with Apple, likes the history of it, it's kind of cool to have it here. The first or second iPod generation, MacBook Pro. Or this is this is actually the first one I had, and I didn't realize it's a little bit different here. All right. Oh, I remember this guy. This is actually one of the most well-built Apple products ever. 
A lot of people praise the design. This is totally Steve Jobs era. It fit very well with the Mac Pro Tower. So when I actually move into my house, eventually I'm gonna build a bench out of these. It's a kind of a really cool little idea. So they're very cheap. You can get the case for around like 50 to 100 bucks. You need two of them and a piece of wood. But this is one of the ultimate Apple designs ever. I love it. Never owned one, but wish I had. Some people are still using them over the new Mac Pro just because you can install newer video cards in them, you know? Wireless keyboard. Oh my goodness. I remember this, the white MacBook. I actually fixed one of these for my cousin well, as I was a kid. My first learning experience with uh, OS 10, in fact. Ooh, this iPod, I remember these. So many counterfeits growing up as a kid with people using these. They were just MP3 players, but they had the same design and style. People ripping each other off on Craigslist with them. Whoa, I have never seen these in my life before. What a learning experience. That is actually kind of cool. So the iPods, iMacs, I've never used one of these. That's cool. Oh yeah, the sleeves for these guys. Man, this is actually pretty cool just to look through these in high resolution. iPod. Ooh, I remember these. I used to have these as a kid. They had so much storage, but they would fail, you know, hard drives and all. Apple made a speaker before. I did not know that. Man, I feel like learning so much about Apple right now with this. That is so cool. Color looks great. Pops here. New casings. Man, how did I not know about these? Okay, this is where my journey began. The iPhone 2G. I was on a middle school bus when I first heard about this phone. That insulation, that's crazy. Man, that is so cool. This is what started it all. Casing. What is this? Dented and old 2G. That's kind of cool, rustic. Okay, those are the first Apple headphones I ever used. iMac. I have this keyboard. Oh my goodness, this brings back memories. I was, I saved up my last dollar to buy one of these. And uh, I was in Walmart and the employee said they were all out, completely sold out. He took, he pried the uh, display unit off to sell it to me because he saw how disheartened I got. Uh, and he pried it off, scratched it, and he gave me a discount, in fact. But, oh my gosh, I remember walking out of the Walmart holding the iPod in my hands like this, like so much technology in this little iPod. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. It brings back memories. I remember this one. Uh, I've never actually owned one, but had some experience with it. My favorite design of the iPhone, period. 3GS and 3G, and the 4 for us. Okay, they're tied there. But man, that is so cool. That is the iPod Touch. Had a lot of experience with those. iMac. I like how this is organized linearly with by time. So... Cool iPod Shuffle, never actually used one of those. I do have one of these, still use one with the rechargeable batteries. Oh my goodness, these were awesome. Seriously, this was one of my favorites too. It had a camera, it was actually a lot of fun. And so much tech and such a slim little design. Have one of these, awesome iPad. Definitely a Steve Jobs era design for sure. The iPhone 4, my first iPhone on cellular service. And uh, oh, what's this? Probably what they machine all their casings with and components. Okay, so that's the display testing it. The iPhone 4 and 4S actually had pretty strong displays. Mac Mini never owned one of these. That is kind of cool, huh? How they get in there. Shuffle, iPod 4th generation. I remember when I picked one of these up, I couldn't believe how thin it was. And then the 5th generation came out, it was even thinner. Apple really is obsessed with thin, that's for sure. So the Air, oh my goodness, I remember this guy. I went with my dad to pick up the iPad 2. If that is the iPad 2, which, yeah, it is. It's really nice. I still have it. This thing runs great. I can't believe how well it runs, the iPad 2. The MacBook Pro Retina, yes, I did own one of these. Goodbye, MagSafe. It was a fun trip with you. <laughs> and then there's these guys. So this is actually pretty recent stuff. You know, we've already been familiarized with all of this. The new iPod Nano, the uh, strap iPod Touch, which no longer exists, iMac. And yeah, so the iPhone 5S, a timeless design. I'm glad Apple uh, made it live on with the SE, seriously. So beautiful. 
Man, this is awesome. Okay, guys, so as I'm wrapping this up, I just want to say this book brought back a lot of memories. It made me very happy just to read this and not read it, but look over these pictures. It only goes back 20 years, but it doesn't need to go back further for me. For some people maybe watching, maybe you're an old timer and you remember all of the old Apple products, which I don't, sadly, you know. Uh, kids these days, you know, but this was awesome guys. Okay. It is a little bit pricey at $300, but you know, just to have it sitting there, if you're an Apple fan, it's, it's really great to enjoy it. I feel like the price could have been a little cheaper, but it's, uh, it's nice. I wouldn't say it's like a hundred percent worth it, but still pretty cool sit here and enjoy this. For many other publisher, this would probably be like 100, 150 bucks max, but you know, Apple's markup and there's the six. There it is, the Apple Book, $300. You can get it for 200, slightly smaller, but actually pretty cool. I wish they made an updated version with the 6S and 7. Uh, will they have a part two? I don't know, we'll see. All right, thanks so much for remembering all these good times with me. Have a great day, peace.